Hey there, it is Tab the Cara, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do kind of a tiled logo name watermark branded background on any of your social media graphics. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is in the Canva app, we will tap on the plus sign and let's just do an Instagram square post first. We're going to go to text add in whatever text that you want to right here. I definitely recommend starting with a small font size so that we can um, get this because it's gonna be a lot of text, a lot of text. Then we will just tap in here and write our handle for Instagram or whatever um, text that you wanna tile. Once you've written it once, we wanna copy it and duplicate it three more times in that same row. And if you go to do this and it's being really annoying, you may need to just make the text box a lot bigger, which we need to do anyway with this handle right here. I'm gonna just stretch it a lot. The bigger your text box is, the better for this activity. So if yours goes down to the second line, we don't want that. We want this all four handles to stay on this first line. So you wanna move this handle right here until all of the text is on one line. All right, now we're gonna select all of that text, copy it, and then we're gonna do a line break by pressing return. We're gonna paste it onto the second line, but in order to get the tiled um, effect, we wanna make sure that we delete one of those handles. Basically, you're gonna have four text handles on the top line, three on the second. And then we just wanna do the same thing again. So we're gonna copy all of those two lines, do a line break and paste it again and keep pasting till you get this four, three, four, three, four, three alternating text that you know or you feel confident is going to cover all of the background of your square design. So I'm moving it up because I just wanna make sure you wanna get as much text going as possible so you do not have to go back in here and do this again because it gets tedious on your iPhone or Android, sorry. All right, so um, now that we've gotten to this point, I feel pretty good that I've got enough text. Um, I'm gonna move this over a little bit so that we can get to the background and we can change that background color to your main brand color. So I'm just gonna tap off. You really don't have to move this text box because what we just need to do is tap the plus sign and find background. So here we could tap the paint icon right here and if you have brand color set up you just tap right now if you don't because you don't have the pro version or whatever you can tap this plus sign you can pick colors here or put in your um, hex code for your main brand color right there I'm gonna tap my pink and now the background has that the text color I recommend you definitely want to be contrasting and lighter so the black to me is way too dark, so I'm going to just change it to white is what I normally do. And it's still standing out way too much. You don't want this to be the main vocal, uh, main focal point, <laughs> focal, okay, focal point of your graphic. You want it to be subtle in the background. So we need to go over to transparency and decrease it to whatever you think I do around 30, let's say 34 is what I have going on right there. Makes it actually look like a lighter color of the brand color, which is cool. So now um, all we have to do is just tilt it and position it to cover the background. So I'm just moving it over to where I can find the tilt or angle icon. We're gonna angle it a little bit. And there, we're gonna make sure we've covered the whole background. Now, some ways to adjust this. Obviously, you can adjust font size. So you might like it big, or you might want it smaller, you decide. You can also adjust the spacing of the text, letters, and lines. Now, um, it depends on how big your text box is if you start to increase the spacing between your layers too much they're going to start making line breaks 
they do. In that case, you just need to make sure that your text box is a little bigger to prevent that from happening. And then you can also increase or decrease the space between lines. So totally up to you what you want to do there. So you can play around with that and have fun. And now that you've got it, here are some suggestions of how to use this. First, you're going to download. I would recommend downloading it as a PNG just so you have that permanent image file saved that you can use for future things. You definitely want to go ahead, rename this Canva project so that you can duplicate it, use it for future projects. Now, if you're going to use this project that where the background tile text is editable. I recommend locking it so it doesn't get in your way when you are trying to layer elements on top of it. So to do that, just swipe all the way over to more, go to swipe over a little bit more again to lock position, which means you could still edit the text, but it's not going to move around on you when you're layering things on top of it. Then I also recommend you can change the colors of the background and your text if you have multiple brand colors. And also I recommend if you have the pro version of Canva to resize this to a vertical background or widescreen so that you can use it in other places like a real background or a um, YouTube thumbnail background. On Canva you tap right here and then you go down to resize if you have the pro version and you could resize it without having to do too much work. Now, um, if you don't have the pro version, you would just need to do a new project, make it vertical, whatever, um, to do a vertical type branded background. So I need to tap the unlock if I wanted to get this to cover the whole background of my vertical design, or I could add in more text as well if I think this is too big and chunky for me. And one more thing I'll share with you, a uh, easy way to make a text quote box out of this. Let's just tap the plus sign, go to elements, and let's search in quote box. And so they have like a lot of, a lot of them are paid, but you could also find some that are not but I'm going to just add in a pro right here and then I'll change that color to my brand color. Let's change that base one to my brand color and as you can see that helps that stand out really quick and then you can add in a text box of your own and you will have a quick quote graphic to post to social media. So I hope this was helpful. If you try this out and post something on Instagram with it, please share and tag me at Teacherpreneur Tips and I would love to share it to my stories and get you some views. And I hope this was helpful. Any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section. I would love to hear from you and I'd also love to see you in the next video. Take care.